terror reflected in their faces. And there were those funny moments, most of them totally unplanned. Well, Los Angeles officials are breathing easier. <laughs> They're breathing easier, but I'm not. Amanda Davis, Satellite News Channel, Washington. <laughs> Many city dwellers have learned to cope with the problem of dog droppings, but it took a Cincinnati judge to rule that even peacocks are subject to pooper scooper laws. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't finish the story. Philadelphia area. Right now at the airport, it's 55 degrees. You know, a lot of people come up to me on the streets of downtown Stamford, Connecticut, and say, Jeff, how can you spot all of those storms? Well, this morning, we're going to reveal our secret. It's our official Captain Video Storm Spotter Spectacles. If you had them, you could do it, too. That's the weather now from SNC. Beam me up, Scotty. But most of the time, it was good, and it was live and timely, designed to fit into everybody's lifestyle. Give us just a little bit of your time, day or night, and as it says, we'll give you the world. So how do you measure 16 months of news all live, all the time? Well, in hours, it comes out to 11,825. That's more TV news than CBS has turned out in the entire history of the network. It's some 88 million words, uncounted thousands of pictures of natural disaster, protest, life, and death. For the staff at SNC, time is measured in many ways. I have counted more raindrops, more clouds in one year than most people, including Bob Richards, would do in a lifetime. What we do in one day here is the equivalent of probably a five or six day week at a regular TV station. As a director, I've probably directed enough hours. If we were on board uh, one of the space shuttles, we could have made about 800 orbits by now. If I did the same amount of news someplace else that I've done here, I would be 50 years old. I think I've done about 6,000 shows, and I could pack it in right now, hit the beach, and never have to work again with all the shows I've done here. I'd say I've pressed a button for every person in New York City. Well, if you could run 50 miles a day, I think that would be an accurate description of how much energy you have to put into this operation to make it work. Yeah, I'd do it again. Why? Because it was a unique opportunity to have a hand in starting something that uh, was beginning from scratch, and those opportunities only come along maybe once in a lifetime. For most of us, though, we measure time in other ways, like remembering those who've left us during the past 16 months. Henry Fonda, David Niven, Ingrid Bergman, Frank Reynolds, Leonid Brezhnev, Princess Grace, U.B. Blake, Tennessee Williams, and Barney Clark, whose artificial heart stopped beating. And there were some births. Pilot vigil is forming outside St. Mary's Hospital, where Princess Diana has been in labor since early this morning. And that just was our first hour of our first day, June 21st, 1982. Barbara Laskin delivering the news that a future king of England was about to be born. And what does all the time and effort mean? Probably not very much. Oh, we've learned and grown. Possibly we've added to your knowledge a little. And perhaps we've helped you through the day or night once or twice. In more cosmic terms, as the name Satellite News Channel implies, we come to you from space. So in 11,825 hours, our first words and pictures have now traveled nearly 8 trillion miles, about a third of the distance to Proxima Centauri in the Milky Way. And they'll just keep on traveling out there, even after we disappear. And maybe, just maybe, somebody out there will see some of this and learn a little about all of us. What makes us tick, what makes us laugh, and cry. <laughs>